I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. Shh, it's quiet. for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. I'm just recording. Well, I'm apparently delicious. Well, the kid. Um, I actually recorded this, or thought I recorded this earlier, but I didn't. So anyway, uh, the creature goes under the bed. I don't think I got that part in, but she does go under the bed. I'm not and I sure literally if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. I literally had to, um, restart. It's okay, because I, I didn't get far. Edie had spent a lot of time here. I hate when they have that in games where you can't go back. But you, Galaxy. I can't climb the tree, god damn it. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. I still can't believe how many dead pets there are. In this grandma's We got room. along and it was a good place to hide from my mom. Galaxy, remember the hands up? Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And Odin fortune. Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. A poor, unlucky soul. Odin's daughter, Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. You know what, I like how this lady reads the whole thing for you. It means I can His be daughter lazy. Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. I like how each story tells you something new. Yeah. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Maybe a witch cursed them. Dun dun. You never know. Maybe it says later on, and I just miss it. Alright. So. Built in 1937. Odin Finch. I think it says. No. It definitely does not say Odin. I don't even know what that when says. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. Oh, it was Sven. She Sven? could have, but she didn't. That's a weird way of saying it. I couldn't tell if that was an S or O or D or whatever. I don't know my cursive very well. I'm sure a lot of people don't anyway. Even in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Yeah. Yeah, this does look like coral. Pink coral. It's so weird for a bathroom floor, though. Oh, there's two sinks. I didn't even notice that. I love uh, bathrooms with that. Oh my god, there's no mirror. Conspiracy. She's a vampire. <laughs> the only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife, Kay, left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. Makes sense. This pink bathroom is pretty... Pink. There's a secret in the bathroom. <laughs> yes, it is a secret. Hopefully it's not a turd. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. Oh. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. I like how it rhymes though. <laughs> book. I didn't even realize that last time. She doesn't even care to uh, shut the book how it was originally. She just shuts it. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. 
He never put it down. That's a lot of pictures. This guy must have really enjoyed taking pictures. I know if I had a camera, I'd take tons and tons of pictures. That's what I do with my phone, at least. But whenever I see something really nice or pretty, I take a picture. Or like if somebody makes a funny face, I'll definitely take a picture. Just to be like, haha, caught you. A photo. Why did it see? I wish I could open some of these books. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. Oh yeah, me and that too. He never talked about him. I did know he had a twin. Oh, I didn't even say that. Well, last video that I thought of his recording, I did think that he had a twin. Even ask uh, Galaxy here. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. <laughs> Why would I lie about that? I was so happy though when I found out I was right. How I want to remember my brother, by Sam Finch. Oh, now this is where the I thing left I remember off. is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom, and he did. That's very depressing. This poor kid. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again, and he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. It's sad how this kid probably killed himself. I can't exactly Mom, tell if he did or not. Calvin, Dino, Sadie, coming. But that Perhaps. day. He finally made up his mind to do it. I hear running. I told him going around was impossible. Must be behind me. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Yeah, make sure the feet are doing the exact same thing each time. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. Holy shit, I'm going so high. I think so he'd high. already made up his mind. Higher than last time, that's for sure. That's oh, what I want to remember about my brother. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Same here. Only I didn't really go too high because I was scared. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Wow. How dare she? Astronaut and soldier. Wow. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. So sad. These poor souls. All of them died. Look, I get sad. It's just I don't cry. Oh. No, what the heck are you doing? Yes, touch the caterpillar. That's so cool. I want to make a house like this one day. I'm gonna make a house with every single game I like. Just like take something from the game. Yeah, me too. It'd be like a realistic version of the game. That'd be fun. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies.
Yeah, me too. You know what? Oh, that's creepy. Um, what I would do if I had a lot of money is I would um, make this giant house filled Growing with vases up, and stuff. I always thought of Barbara as a child star. And whoever found the last, um, like the, like there would be a second exit or something, or whatever. It leads to, I don't know, a bunch of money or whatever. Whoever found that would get it. It'd be like this secret treasure, and you could not destroy the house, or you'd like, or you'd like win the game. Like it'd be this, pe you and um, people would pay to go there, and you would stay there for like let's say, three hours or whatever. And if you got to the, or if you got near the end, or like towards the middle or whatever, you could try again. It'd be like hard uh, puzzles to figure out. You would have to like find certain things. Like there'd be cards around. You know, it'd be like one of those escape rooms only extended. I'd definitely make something like that if I had enough money. Oh, I could climb back down. I don't want to climb back down though. Not yet. My friend Bigfoot. Interesting. So this is Barbara's room. Well, this is kind of a nice dress. Wonder why they all left in a hurry. All their stuff out. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Is that happy birthday, Barbara? Is that a giant cookie? And she just left it on the counter? It must be really old. Huh. Dreadful of stories. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. A lot of people must have wrote about her death. Old Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. You know what? As a this child is perfect for star, <laughs> Barbara was famous for her scream. Yeah. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Really? Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. Uh -oh. <laughs> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. Oh. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Wow. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, oh, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's True. a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding... Until finally, the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. Twenty minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. Okay. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Huh. I think so far the comic is my favorite. It's pretty crazy.
creepy. She found Rick Scratch and imagined the worst. Use it as a weapon. Yeah. Or to beat people with a crutch. Okay, you ready? Because I'll beat you with a crutch. Don't make sure that I'm crippled. I'll always be ready. So much good. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Somebody ate his family? What the frick? Who eats family members? You savage. Yes, this is a lovely chair. Let's destroy it. I don't like your face. Poop. Ooh, can I take this? Oh, never mind. It's not even a weapon. Ooh, a punchy bag. Let's go, I got a crutch. <laughs> I can't tell what is what right now. It's so dark down here. There we go. I like how I'm just punching everything. Beating everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear! Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep Watching the late, late picture show. Why would you be holding Always a crutch later. while you're falling asleep? Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. I'm slowly dying right now. My sickness is getting real bad right now. It's like, help. I'm gonna break the TV. I can't break the TV, that's no fun. Ooh, this is a cool chair. I've always wanted one of those. You know the egg chair thing? I'm gonna save up money for one, one day. Okay, now that's definitely a waste of money. I'm just gonna make one out of cardboard. <laughs> I mean, you could make it out of wood. It wouldn't be that comfortable, though. Oh, you know what? You could make like a little um, a swing. Just one of those swings to make like a have a tree growing in your house, or like build a house around a tree, and then make the swing um, on one of the branches in your house. I'm gonna use that for a Minecraft idea. When you can't have something in real life, you build it in Minecraft. It makes life feel better. Somebody was trying to trip me down the stairs. Oh, look at all the Halloween stuff. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I hate that feeling so much. It keeps that happening to me. Why are you whispering? Walter vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Uh -oh. Orcas Island police describe the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Uh oh, he's behind you. I returned, saw the hook man, and. Speechless. He was quite smashing. He was screaming. Man, this lady's tough. He couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara. There's got to be another way out of here. There must be. Go out the window. Open the window over there. 
Sorry, I'm having fun hitting this. For all the people that don't like clouds. There you go. I don't see clouds as scary. I just don't like them because of... She played I her part beautifully. Sorry, I like hitting everything. What's her sister room? Okay. Hi. Those lights, they're so decorative. Hey. Where'd he go? The hook man had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. Uh-oh. da 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 it's her boyfriend. Oops. At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. Behind you, her. It's a surprise party. <gasps> oh dear. Surprise her for Barbara. It was a dream. He said, but the creature said he was gonna eat. And she saw what them. kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. Uh oh. She was going <laughs> to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave a performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Oh of course, God. the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Oh. Her ear. Oh. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Oh my god, that's so sudden. <laughs> I like it though. It's very creepy. Perfect for Halloween. Too bad she was an artist. Oh, well, I mean, she was a uh, singer. Edie told me all Barbara active, wanted was probably. to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Well, she was an actor, so, I mean, she is an artist in a way. Look at the devil. Such interesting painting or pictures. Oh, every time I blow my nose. I'll just be like, oh no, that's just my fan. It's just wonky. You know? It's my biggest fan, as uh, Barbara would have. <laughs> I feel like I should have edited out that part just because I said that. Okay, let's see. Alright. Can we go out this door, please? No? Okay, fine. I see how it is. Can we go out a window? I hear 
hear something eerie. The wind. So that's her book. Maybe we go under the bed? Or maybe not? It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Oh yeah, we could go back through here. 